different way to even um, take a look at it. You know, sometimes we get stuck. I call it putting our heels in the stubbornness. You know, we're 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 not moving from our perspective. And when we're in coaching session, being stubborn in coaching session is not conducive. So it's about finding other ways to view a given situation so that we can come up with other uh, opportunistic ways that, you know, can integrate with what's happening. So I guess in a way this like what we're doing right now is addressing the complaint that coaches have about complaining clients. Oh. What we're doing is offering another way to look at complaints for the coach, the coach who's watching this video and trying to get them to understand that a complaint isn't some freestanding bad thing that or annoying thing that our client does. It's part of the process of coaching and you always do something with the complaint as a coach. I would also say, yeah, it's a huge signal. It's a huge opportunity, really. Yeah. It's an opportunity because anybody who's complaining is being myopic to some degree. They are being myopic, being a victim, being um, uh, passive, essentially giving up their power and um, choosing to complain over making actionable change. And, and what do we do in coaching as coaches? It's about actionable change. It's about forward motion. So if somebody's complaining, ding, 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 mm -hmm. fire alarm, <laughs> you know, go off. Wow, this is something that that is a big sign that that our client is got a block mm -hmm. or has a, is is just where you can open the world up for them and give them uh, show them that there's a whole lot more going on and that they're capable of finding their power uh in what they can do in any given situation and and complaining is not really gonna get them too far in your coaching space <laughs> i think it tells you too kind of the operating system that the client is currently running if they're coming in complaining all the time they are wired that way they have created that really strong neural pathway so they one of the articles that was so brilliant the way they talked about it it was like it, it's harder to create a new neural pathway than it is to just walk across the bridge the sturdy bridge that you've already built so if the client has built a sturdy bridge to complain it is going to be work and time to create that new pathway to give and that's, them a new operating system essentially. this is one of this is one of the situations where as a coach we can be that that coach that is a little where we don't have to be handle our clients with kick gloves mm -hmm. it, it might behoove us to go can i make an observation right now this might be one of those moments i notice you coming in and having a lot of complaints from my perspective that's what it feels like and that might be a moment where your client goes oh I complain, <laughs> you know, I'm sure that they do, but I, it could be a moment where they're like, oh my goodness. So uh, that's during, uh, just to be clear, you're not usually doing that at the beginning of a session. You're usually got a rapport with that client and you've yeah. had some time with that client before you typically pull that bandaid. 